Thank you for watching this video. We will discuss in this 5 minutes video about every aspect of food defense. We will go through the definition first. Then we will study the requirements of different standards on food defense. Then we will understand what a company should do to comply the requirements of the standard. And in last, we will see and take an idea how to make the procedure for food defense. Let's start with the definition of food defense. According to EU, food defense is the production of food products from intentional contamination or adulteration by biological, chemical, physical or radiological agents for the purpose of causing harm to the consumer. Out of many GFSI approved standards, I will quote four main standards which are known by the food experts here in Pakistan along with one non-GFSI standard that is ISO 22000 uh, which is to 20, uh, 2018 version which is very common and most used in industries for compliance and certification. Here you can see the chart. First four standards in the columns are GFSI approved standard and in the fifth column is FSMS. In SQF code 8 there is a clause 2.7 talks about food defense with four sub clauses. FSSC version 5 we have a clause in additional requirement clause 2.5.3 with two sub clauses. BRC issue 8 has the clause 4.2 with the title site security and food defense with four sub clauses. IFS version 6.1 talk about the food defense in clause 6 containing four sub clauses. There is no specific clause with the title food defense in FSMS that is ISO 22000 but somehow we can cover this requirement in clause 8.2.4 that is PRP section in which it says that company has to consider all other PRPs necessary for preventing food with hazards. If we take all the requirements from all the standards out and blend it in the blender we will get the following outcome as the common requirements. Do the food defense analysis. Do the food defense risk assessment. Establish the food defense mitigation plan. Make the food defense procedure and considering all the applicable legal requirements. And in mitigation plan and procedure, we can take various measures based on risk to mitigate the risk of any food defense hazards in the product and process. Examples are hiring, contracting security guards with their proper trainings. Establishing visitors and contractors policy. Establishing system for vehicle in and out check. In place appropriate fences covering the industry. Have the proper access control. Establish lock and key system for all hazardous agents in the company. In place CCTV cameras. Have the proper lighting in high risk areas. Do the police verification of employees. Maintenance of personal files of employees. Identification of walkways. In last let's understand how to do the food defense risk analysis and assessment and make a procedure or plan to mitigate the risk. You have two options either to integrate the food defense hazard analysis with your already established hazard analysis for physical, chemical and microbiological hazards or do the food defense analysis separately. First analyze all the hazards you think likely to be expected in your process flow. Once you analyzed it, conduct the hazard analysis risk assessment using some logical approach example severity and likelihood or decision tree. After identifying the risk, you can now make appropriate control measures which you can define somewhere in any plan or procedure. Quickly see how to make the procedure for food defense. There are five main headings which you may use to define your procedure. First is scope in which you have to define the boundaries and applicability of your procedure. Second is purpose in which you will define the objective of the procedure. Third is the definition in which you define the meanings of difficult terms being used in this procedure. Fourth is step by step plan system which you follow to control the food defense hazards based on your risk assessment. And finally, fifth is the record which you are going to maintain for the assurance of proper implementation of this procedure. Hope this explanation will help you to comply the food defense requirements in your organization. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like the page and share this video. Thank you for watching the video once again. We'll talk to you soon with other video on any other food safety topic. Until then, Allah Hafiz.